wanted to get a little video of the stingrays that I've been having in my fish room now for about a month. Tomorrow they go to a new aquarium at a client's restaurant and to a tank that was built specifically for them. It has been a real pleasure having the rays in the fish room. I've been meaning to take some video of them before they're out of here. So these two rays are the Potamotrygon species Mantella. I've not been able to get a whole lot of information about exactly what these rays are. They do come from Peru. Very interesting spotting pattern on this one. I think this one over here is more of a normal spotting pattern. And come all the way up, buddy, and give us a look. These are two of the best feeding rays I've ever taken had. They, uh, they started eating the moment they got out of the bag. It's pretty impressive. Here in a minute, I'll give them a little bit of food, and you can see how aggressive feeders they are. Big female. This one's a little male. Over here are three Matoro rays also going out tomorrow. These have also been very nice rays. These are all three little boys. And they're hungry as well. And down here, this is a Potamotrygon Castexi. Nice girl. She's going to stay here for a few more weeks. Eventually, she may end up in that big ray tank as well. It is a pretty big ray tank. Uh, but for the time being, she hasn't been here long enough and she's not eating as well as I would like her to eat. But she's been doing pretty good. I'm going to feed these guys a little bit of black worm. If I splashed water on the surface, they start getting excited. Drop a little black worm down to them. It's amazing how well these animals can smell and taste the environment around them. Watch them attack them. Watch this. Suck, suck, suck them up. Trap against the glass so we can watch. So we can get these guys moving. They're hungry too. And like that. There you go. Wake up. There's food in the water. I 
These aren't quite as aggressive a feeder as those Mantella rays are. But they still put they eat everything I put in the tank. They just usually don't eat it all until after dark. There we go. Aha, there's food in the water. Rays are a lot of fun. One of the fish that's going to share space with these rays in their new home tomorrow are these Brochus multiradiatus. These are the carp of South America. They also like black worms. There we go. Now the tank that these fish are going to go into is going to have a sand bottom. But one of the problems with rays is making sure the sand bottom stays clean. That's where these, these catfish will come into play. They will keep that sand turned over looking for food. We're also going to put some large sand sifting, earth eating cichlids in there with the rays. But that will come a little further down the road. The other tank mate for the rays is going to be some angelfish. They are too big for the rays to eat. And here they are. I'm going to give them some food. Wild angels from Peru. They like their worms. Angels make pretty good tank mates for small rays because they uh, they stay up off the bottom. The rays don't usually bother them. Now, and I reiterate, the tank they're going to go into is a pretty big tank. And I'll share that tank with you in another video after tomorrow. So we're going to have some Brocus multiradiatus, some nice wild silver angels, some Matoro stingrays, and some Mantella stingrays. And I should reiterate that not all of these rays are going into the tank. There's a couple of tanks they're going into, but the big tank is just going to get three of these rays. It's not going to be overcrowded. Now she's really giving us a good look. That's awesome. These guys are really fighting over the worms. It's a pylon, a pylon of rays. Well, that's what's happening in Ted's fish room today. I will show you the tank they're going to go into after we get them established in it tomorrow.